Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I was in Costco the other day, and boy was I surprised. They're already putting out their Christmas trees, so I better get busy. I'm going to make some Christmas ornaments. Every year I make dozens of these Sputnik Sea Urchin Christmas tree ornaments. Cindy Droza has two videos on YouTube that show you how she does it. I'm going to show you how I do it and tell you why do I do it the way I do. I have a little preparation doing the sea urchin using a Dremel tool and a sanding drum. I'm going to round out the bottom. Grind off the little tip so that the finial will fit flat. And round up the top. Now I'm ready to turn the center for the sea urchin. First, no two sea urchins are exactly alike. Some are larger than others, and some are even misshapen. They're not symmetrical, even on the top and the bottom and the sides. So in order to be able to accommodate this, I've come up with a different way of making the sea urchin ornaments. The first way is to turn one piece that will go fit into the sea urchin ornament top and bottom, like this, and then simply to put a hook eye on the top. So that's turned out of one piece. In this case I use basswood, you could use white pine or any light wood that won't increase the weight of the ornament too much to be practical. The other way I do it is to create an internal body for the sea urchin out of the same kind of basswood or pine and then add a finial to the top and the bottom. This way of doing it, in this case, this is the body with a finial glued into the bottom, and it will accommodate a misshapen sea urchin. As you can see on this one, the, the urchin is taller on this side than it is on this side. But when I'm all done with it, it will hang straight on the tree. So how do I do this? Well. I start out by making some blanks. Uh, these are made out of basswood and they're about two inches across and about three and a half inches long. So I have the basswood blank mounted in the chuck. And I'm going to turn off the end and the cone. until the sea urchin top fits through. Then I'm going to let it make a mark on the cone so I know how far in the cut. So the top fits on the cone. Now I've got to make the bottom fit. I can do it on the other side, make a mark. Then I want to know how long it is. So I'll take a pencil, line up the top with the shoulder, make a mark down here, and that'll be the approximate bottom 
of my blank. Using a spindle gouge, I'll cut in the bottom. And then test to see how it fits. The inside of the, you won't see the inside of the sea urchin anyhow, so it doesn't matter just how fine that's done in there. Okay. Now I don't need but an eighth of an inch to hold the bottom on, so I'll remove. wood like this. See that it rests down on the bottom. If it doesn't, I can take a little more off the top. Finish off the top. Leave a little dimple for my Hanger. And I'll sand that now while I'm thinking about it. And that's all there is for that. I can remove some of the weight by taking out some of the mass in the middle. I don't need all this wood in here. But I want to leave enough on here and here to catch this in a ticket truck. Now I'll make a bunch of these at one time. I'll go through this step for a number of sea urchins rather than doing them one at a time. The next step, I use spicket jaws. And capture. And I'll bring up the tailstock, hold that securely in the spicket jaws while I cut away the bottom. And I want as fine a cut as I can get down here on the bottom. At this point, I would do that for all of them. And then I'm going to drill a 3 8 inch hole for my finial. So it'll fit right in there like that. Now this allows me to prepare any number of finials ahead of time that will fit neatly into that hole.
and I can pick one that complements that particular sea urchin and finish the top and the core that's holding the finial and put a screw eye in it and I'm done. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on an alternative way to make a Sputnik sea urchin ornament.